Hi everyone, my name is Leslie and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a 12-item capsule wardrobe for school that can make up to 20 plus outfits, even more if you try even harder. Capsule wardrobes don't really have to be all neutrals. I just made this all neutrals because I feel like the key to a really efficient capsule wardrobe is to make like almost every piece match each other. I'm just going to be going over each of the pieces. I'm going to start with the tops. I put more tops than bottoms because tops also include like outerwear, like blazers and such. So let's go through them. Okay, I'm going to start with the most basic item in literally every capsule wardrobe video on the internet and that is a plain tee. I would usually go for a white tee but for this video I went for a black one because I have a different white tee here you will see later and this one is just super basic. It's cropped and I feel like you can go with any silhouette you like whether you like an oversized look or a cropped look like me. I also have this other black shirt here that isn't necessarily a t-shirt but it's just a basic black crop shirt. I also like this one because as you can see it has a lower neck. It provides a different look. It looks less basic. You could just work with either of these. I'm going to use these two interchangeably for this video. I'm counting these as one because they look the same. The next item is, of course, a graphic tee. This one just says New York. It's giving a very vintage touristy type of vibe. This one isn't cropped and it's more of a regular fit to add like more variety in the silhouettes in the capsule wardrobe. The next top is more of a dressier top. It's this milkmaid bustier crop top. I bought this like three years ago and I'm still not over it and I love it. I feel like this gives off more of a special look than your basic t-shirt. So I decided to include it because some Sometimes you want to dress a little bit like cuter or girlier, you could replace this with any like dressier top you want. The next top has made an absurd amount of appearances on this channel, but it's just this basic white crop tank top. I feel like a tank top gives off a different look than a t-shirt, and this one's cropped. If it doesn't fit your dress code, just go for like a not cropped look. And if you want to go for a more cinched look, you can also go for a bodysuit. I'm going to be moving on to the other tops, which are the outerwear type of tops. First, of course, is a blazer. I feel like this is like a business student essential. This one is just regular fit blazer because I feel like, again, it's more versatile, it's more classic it'll stand the test of time more but if you want to go for like a less formal more street style type of look you could also go for an oversized one or even a cropped one i feel like a cropped one won't fit the business casual attire though next i have a sweatshirt i'm gonna use this for like the colder days i guess you could also replace this with a zip up hoodie because i feel like that would be a little bit easier to like layer over or wear alone and last but not least another business schooly essential kind of is a white button down this is again a regular fit button down usually i would go for like an oversized button down to layer over things but since the number of items today are limited i'm just gonna go with a regular fit one again for a more classic look plus it's more versatile and everything so yeah that is about it for the tops now i'm going to be moving on to the bottoms there are five pairs of bottoms over here i only included pants and shorts because i don't see myself wearing skirts to school because right now i just don't own any longer skirts that would fit dress code and i don't see myself wearing like a cute sundress to school honestly i see myself just wearing pants or shorts first pair of pants is of course black trousers an absolute essential in everyone's closet regardless of school in my opinion this is my absolute ride or die pant i love it so much i use it so much next is another pair of trousers this time it's a cream pair of trousers i feel like you could also use this for like business casual looks or you could dress it up or down you could wear this casually and of course the last pair of pants are jeans absolute essential this one doesn't have rips in it it's just like a plain pair of jeans next is a pair of denim shorts this pair of denim shorts as you can see is a bit longer than your usual pair of denim shorts because these fit dress codes sort of if you don't want to wear shorts you could replace this with a skirt or whatever fits your vibe and last but not the least i have a pair of sweat shorts these also kind of fit my dress code if i ride them down a little bit you could replace these with sweatpants i just don't own any sweatpants that is it for the 12 items i'm going to be moving on to bags accessories shoes and whatnot i'm not gonna count these because i feel like you don't have to have many of these you could use one of each which is sort of what i'm gonna do for the bag i feel like the practical option is to just use one bag throughout school so that you don't have to like switch between bags i don't have the tote bag i'm gonna use for school yet so i'm just gonna use this as an example it's just a heart-shaped tote bag honestly can't use this as school because it's too flimsy to hold my laptop but i'm just gonna use like a laptop tote that's like cream colored so i feel like this is a good representation of it you could use a backpack or whatever you're most comfortable with and last but not the least for the shoes i only have two pairs first pair are these veja v10 mesh shoes honestly this pair of shoes goes with all of the outfit the other pair of shoes i'm going to be showing you is not really an essential i feel like a white pair of sneakers would match everything here anyway but i feel like i want 
want to add some variety so i have another pair of sneakers i want to show you guys my beautiful beautiful recent find my new balance 990 v5s they're the made in the usa ones and you know i have a lot of gray here it's gonna match a lot of things pick shoes that will match your color scheme chances are a white pair of sneakers will be fine also i'm just including sneakers because again this is a school capsule wardrobe that's about it for all of the items now i'm going to be showing you the endless amount of outfits you could put together with these 12 items so this is the first outfit arguably the most basic and casual one here i'm just wearing a t-shirt jeans a tote bag and my new balance 990 v5s here is the full outfit i did this cute outfit polyvore inspired pinteresty editing thing on the right side so i hope you like it because i really enjoyed making it and it made me feel like i was in clueless super basic casual look very everyday vibes you could replace the top with any colored t-shirt and it would pretty much just work out in the next outfit i'm still wearing the jeans and instead of the black t-shirt i'm wearing a tank top and the hard rock sweatshirt over it like this i really like wearing sweatshirts over my shoulder like this i think it gives off a very preppy clean vibe plus it's easier to take on and off i filmed this video very systematically i styled each pair of bottoms four times so that each pair of pants is styled the same amount of time so the next outfit is another outfit with the jeans this time instead of the hard rock sweatshirt i'm wearing this button down and instead of my new balances i wore my vages i feel like this gives off a totally different vibe again a very clean girly vibe color scheme is completely different and i feel like the outfit looks just overall pretty different for the fourth outfit i wore this baby doll top for a more girly dressy look i'm still wearing my vages here as you can see a casual look that looks like you kind of tried a little harder just because the top is a bit less basic than the rest of the tops in this video that's about it for the four outfits with the jeans now i changed to the cream trousers i know you can make more outfits with the jeans i just did it like this so that i could show you like a wider range of outfits so here i wore the cream trousers with the tank top and the gray blazer and then to tie the gray together i wore gray sneakers you could also wear white sneakers really because this outfit's just super neutral and i feel like this gives off a very business casual smart casual vibe and i really like it it gives me very matilda jerf vibes which is all i really want to be in the next outfit i decided to wear the black top this time i wore the one with the v-neck to show you like a wider range of outfits i guess this would work with the other t-shirt as well i'm wearing the vages again to keep the outfit just very black and cream very duo tone it's a very basic outfit but i think it looks really nice because each piece is super flattering so it overall looks like a nice outfit for the next outfit i put on the puff sleeve top again this gives off a different vibe it gives off a more neutral vibe because i'm wearing trousers instead of the jeans and then in the next outfit instead of the puff sleeve top this time i'm wearing the button down alone instead of layered with the tank top you could layer it with the tank top too but like here i'm wearing it alone i don't like to button it up all the way because i feel like i look like a freaking waiter so i always only button three of the buttons it gives off a more laid back vibe i think it's nice that the button down isn't super oversized so that it doesn't eat me alive because the pants are pretty loose so like loose on loose doesn't give off the best vibe on me at least now for the black trousers in this first outfit i'm wearing the graphic tee with new balance 990 v5s a very basic black and white outfit this is why i like graphics because i feel like it adds a little something to a look i know that's a really basic take but yeah in the second outfit with the black trousers i went for a more monochrome vibe by wearing the black shirt as you can see you could wear it with either of the black shirts i wore the v-neck one again because i feel like it breaks up the black a little bit so i don't look like count dracula because it's like way too black i think in the next outfit i did this more like weird looking layering moment so it's a lot of layers and i don't think i can wear this to school because it's kind of hot but i think it looks really cool i think this would look better if the blazer was slightly oversized but again we're kind of limited with the items here so it's a kind of disheveled looking businessman look i don't know why i like it but i think it looks cool it looks street wary sort of with a hint of business the next look is a very basic look i'm just wearing the white tank top with the trousers and the vages again a very black and white look that's about it for all the pants i'm going to be styling the shorts so for the first outfit i decided to wear it with the hard rock sweatshirt alone this time without anything layered under it i think it gives off a very athleisure casual vibe it's a little weather confused because it's very warm at the top and very cool at the bottom again the gray sneakers kind of tie it together but a white pair of sneakers would truly suffice i'm just kind of extra so i like everything being color coordinated and then the next outfit is like one of the outfits i put together with the denim jeans this time with shorts basically the same thing with the tank top and the hard rock sweatshirt layered over it like this the next outfit is a lot less weather confused this time i'm just wearing a light graphic tee with the shorts which is very average looking but honestly i think i'm going to be wearing a lot of very average looking outfits to school anyways this is a cute vibe in my opinion even if i kind of look like a little boy and in an attempt of not looking like a little boy the next outfit i wore the 
puff sleeve top again this time with shorts this gives off a very summery vibe and i think i look less like a little boy because i'm wearing kind of a girlier top and we are down to the last four outfits the last four outfits will be with the sweat shorts again you could replace this with sweatpants if you want to i just don't own sweatpants i went for a very basic athleisure again looking look with a black t-shirt the gray sweatshorts gray shoes and the tote bag once again i love how the tote bag literally just matches everything and then i wore this graphic tee again it's very versatile this time i tied it in a knot like this there are many different ways to wear a t-shirt but i usually just like to like tuck it in so this time i tried to tie it and i kind of like it it gives off a more relaxed vibe this t-shirt has made a lot of appearances in this video i know but it's just versatile like that another confusing one it's weird because i'm wearing something super formal up top and then something super casual in the bottom it gives off a very streetwear chic vibe i don't know how to feel about it it's very confusing then again we've established that i enjoy looking at confusing outfits i feel like it would look better with an oversized blazer though for more casual vibe and last but not the least i'm just wearing the gray sweatshirt with the gray sweatpants very predictable but at least it matches and looks semi good so yeah that is about it for the outfits that is it for today's video thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe it really really helps out follow me on instagram at alisalian and on tiktok at alisa's vids i post more fashion content on there so please follow me on there as well that's it for me again thanks for watching you can watch my recent video here bye